Chicken Man. Legend or reality? My name is Mike Smithers, and today we're going to delve into the mystery that is Chicken Man, a figure that has eluded actual sight or capture in a rural town in middle America. Today we're going to travel there, and we're going to interview eyewitnesses to the legend or reality that is known as Chicken Man. Today we're going to be speaking with Jethro Philbin, the town librarian. He's been tracking the whereabouts and reports of Chicken Man for the last 20 years. You know, around these parts, everybody knows about Chicken Man. I mean, I've been hearing about him for years, and nobody's seen him. They just talk about the legend of the Chicken Man. Well, let me tell you, a couple months back, Sally Jenkins, one of the most upstanding citizens in our town here. She was, she was trying to catch a bus. At night, not the smartest thing to do, but around here, yeah, nothing happens. The next thing you know, three thugs are trying to rob her of her money. One of them grabs her, the other tries to grab her pocketbook, and I, you know, it's amazing she's still with us. But you listen to Sally tell you, and here's what she says happened. Right in the middle of all this, out of the bushes, a, a thing jumps out. It's like, well, it's, it's Chicken Man. She said he was like a, a man, like a human, like me. Uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm no chicken. <laughs> but, but she said he, he moved like a chicken and he talked like a chicken. I mean, if, if chickens could talk, it, it wasn't like a language so much, but, uh, but like a... Uh, you know, just the way they make those sounds they do. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, he, he, he moved like a chicken, he sounded like a chicken, but he was a man. And he, she said he had hair, but, but there was feathers sticking out of his hair. So he was some sort of man chicken. Sally calls him the chicken beast. But, but he was a benevolent kind beast because he immediately, he, he, he seemed to survey the situation. He, he kind of gave her that chicken look, that kind of like a, you know, with the eye coming out of the side, like, you know, what's going on here? That, that's kind of what they say, or get out of my way. It depends what kind of mood the chicken's in. If you've had chickens, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, my brother, the chicken man is an anomaly in the evolutionary phase of specialization, as we would say. Um, He's, um, well, we don't know, is he, is he a hybrid between a, a, a chicken or a, a man, or in fact just a, a human raised by chickens, as, as you have heard of the, the, the boy raised by the wolves, or the uh, raised by uh, monkeys, a, a maggot girl raised by maggots. Uh, it could be any one of these things. Without actually seeing Chicken Man in person, we, we, we really can't come to a conclusion about this, this situation, you see. So that is what I am attempting to study here. As a, um, I'm, I've been examining uh, uh, fragments of the feather that uh, the woman who was accosted by the thugs uh, was given by the Chicken Man. I've also got uh, uh, samples of skin uh, the, from under the fingernails of one of the uh, men that was I had the fight with Chicken Man. Um, uh, the one thing I've been able to determine so far is the Chicken Man is in fact a human uh, from the skin, the DNA. The feather, however, is chicken. Chicken Man starts fighting them off. She said it was amazing. She'd never seen anybody fight like this. And uh, he, she said he was using his claws and his beak and, and, and his feathers. I mean, he didn't have wings or feathers, but he was using his arms like they were. And he was scratching and biting and pecking and kicking and, and everything. And next thing you know, the them boys are running off. Well, except for one of them, he got him pretty good. He, he, I think he cracked his kneecap, he pecked him in the face and scratched his eye or something like that. Anyway. Sally runs off, calls the police. Them three boys were arrested. Not less than an hour later, they wouldn't talk, wouldn't say a word. I mean, Sally kept talking about the chicken beast, but those boys, mm, they was mum as a cricket on a summer's eve when the, 
the lava's coming out of the volcano. I mean, you'll see what I'm talking about if you've ever been in a situation like that. Anyway, uh, they wouldn't say And Why wouldn't they say anything? Well, what would you do if somebody came up to you and said, oh, I was attacked by a chicken man, or a chicken beast? You'd think they were nuts. Mrs. Sally Jenkins, eyewitness, who has requested visual anonymity due to an abundance of disfiguring facial lesions resulting from an encounter with a rabid honey badger in her youth. Well, I was being robbed by these big old men, you know, over by, over by the grocery store, and I was yelling, help, help, but no one was there to help me, and all of a sudden, out of this bush, you know, jumps this giant chicken. But, you know, it wasn't just a chicken, it was, it was a beast. It was the size of a man. It was some kind of chicken beast. And he jumps right out of the bush, and he scares the two men away. And, well, you know, he saved my life, and I felt, I felt so gracious. It was, it was amazing. It was like being saved by Superman, except instead of wearing a cape and flying around and dodging fast bullets, he was a giant chicken. So I thought, wow, this, this is... This is a really nice gesture. I, I, th I think I need to return this gesture. So I go home and I bake him a nice cherry pie and I bring it back to the bush where he jumped out of, only he wasn't there. So I left the pie right in front of the bush and I went home, came back the next day and the pie was gone. And I think the pie not being there is just proof that this was all just not my imagination. Asked Sally what happened afterwards? She says, you know what, it's funny, but before he left, he kind of gave me that chicken look again, and kind of like a, a wink, if a chicken could wink, it wasn't like a, hey, how you doing kind of wink, <laughs> uh, it was like a, you okay, I got your back, and he pulled a feather out of his hair, and he handed it to her, and then he leaped back into the bushes, never to be seen from again. So I tell you, is that a legend? We have an eyewitness, a preacher's wife, upstanding citizen of the town who says this happened to her. She's never done drugs, she don't drink. You tell me, I don't know, but Chicken Man lives. We, uh, the first step in our investigation was to uh, go to the area where Chicken Man was seen, where he uh, conducted this uh, act of heroism and uh, place uh, motion activated cameras in the uh, uh, opportune places where we would expect a chicken man to uh, frequent, uh, uh, down near water sources where he might eat water, uh, near other chickens where he might feel a need to well, fraternize well, with other chickens. Um, uh, basically, uh, so in this process we've actually managed to capture some footage of chicken man and I will warn you, some of it is very disturbing. Uh, the this the whole concept of a of a half man half chicken is enough to send some children running off to their beds. You know it's one of those things that keeps me up late at night, and uh, and I don't wish this on you. Uh, of course, there's other things that disturb me as well, but uh, that has nothing to do with this. It's uh, totally irrelevant, really. <laughs> We also discovered, after the fact, that uh, uh, one of our field investigators who was taking footage actually managed to capture images of Chicken Man and didn't even know it. You see, the, the, the problem with chickens is they're highly elusive creatures. Um, you could be walking through the woods, through a field, uh, down your driveway. There could be a chicken two feet from you and you wouldn't know it. If they want to remain hidden, they will remain hidden. You will never know that a chicken is in your midst. I was out walking uh, Miguelito here, down the street, and every day we pass by the same bush. It's the bush with the chickens, and they're making their little chicken noises like, pew, 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 baka, baka, baka. And I know that they make this sound because I have chickens of my own. But today, or the other day, I look over, and one of the chickens is about six feet tall and kind of looks like a man. So I think to myself, Ay Dios mío, es el pollo loco! And Miguelito and I just hightail it out of there. And to be honest, it's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen happen at that bush. And just the other day, 
sitting by the side of the bush was a small cherry pie. And I see the cherry pie and I think to myself, wow, mi familia will really enjoy this. So I take it home to them. And after dinner, we enjoy it quite a bit with our horchata. Uh, if this is some sort of hybrid race of mutants that's being developed, uh, evolutionary speaking, um, that's, that's a scary thought. Because they're faster than we are. They're stronger than we are. And they can lay eggs. We think. We don't really know. This one was laid, raised by hens. I, uh, I don't know if he's the product of a, a, a chicken and a, a human. Uh, I don't know how that would work. Uh, that's not beyond the purview of this uh, investigation. I, I will say uh, that that in and of itself is also quite a disturbing thought. Uh, something else that keeps me up late at night. Uh, I wish I could block that one out. I do hope that uh, you don't even go there. And you know, it's funny, but you think about it. I, I can't eat chicken anymore. I love chicken. I used to get the whole big bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I would just kind of go in there and, you know, just go. Oh, I could eat 24 pieces at one sitting. Now I can't even eat a single drumstick, because I look at that and I think, who, what was this attached to? Could this have been a chicken that was going to grow up to be a, another crime-fighting chicken? Or maybe President of the United States. Or maybe mayor of our town. I don't know. But I just feel bad that I'm depriving the world of another chicken that could turn into Chicken Man. We have made one attempt to capture Chicken Man in the wild. Uh, we weren't quite sure how to go about this, you see, because, uh, well, as most prey species, as you may know, are kind of hardwired for a humane end. Uh, for example, deer or rabbits. Uh, Rather than go through the trauma of being eviscerated by a mountain lion or a wolf and having your bowels pulled out and your skin ripped, to, you know, muscle ripped off the bone while you're still alive, uh, generally they are hardwired to have heart attacks. We don't know what Chicken Man is and how he will respond to any sort of aggressive behaviors. Um, so we decided to try to, well, uh, have someone covertly insinuate themselves into Chicken Man's environment uh, so that they could get close enough uh, to subdue him. Now, this took a lot of thought and preparation, you see, because we needed somebody that Chicken Man would accept into the brood. Um, and uh, it had to be something that would be part of his life that he wouldn't question. Uh, and what we decided on was to use a Shaolin monk who was versed in the uh, a Kung Fu style known as Praying Mantis. Uh, we figured a Praying Mantis is in part of a chicken's life, and uh, if he was convincing enough, the, uh, you know, wouldn't be threatening to the chicken. Um, well, sadly, as you can imagine, uh, things didn't pan out so well. We didn't really think of how the chicken would respond to it, and what really his frame of mind would be in encountering a Praying Mantis in the wild. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, chickens eat insects, and uh, praying mantis is an insect. Uh, so, chicken man ate him. Uh, anyway, uh, we only know this because we came across some of the clean bones in the field and saw the gnawing marks, which did give us one more piece of the puzzle. We did determine that chicken man does have the teeth of a human. So, one more part of the puzzle. The scientists came to me here at the Shaolin Temple and asked me, the most venerable master of White Crane Kung Fu, to go and capture the alleged chicken men. Only one problem with this idea. It's stupid. It's really, really stupid. Bird on bird action, never, nobody win. So, I recommend to the investigator, Brother Chao Ming, most adept master in praying mantis kung fu. And I recommend him to go and capture, and not kill, not kill but to capture, alive, the chicken men. But unbeknownst to him, the chicken 
man had developed his own form of kung fu, unlike any other kung fu we have ever seen from watching the other chickens. And it is with great sadness to report that we did not hear back from Brother Chao Ming. And he is presumably dead. And that is two additional cinder blocks that will not be destroyed by hand. And this is because Brother Chao Ming never learned the way of the White Crane. We're still attempting to figure out ways to get close to Chicken Man. Uh, again, our intent in the big picture is to, well, to study him and perhaps integrate him into society. It's one thing that he is naturally a protector of, of good and a fighter of evil, but if we could train him further and then integrate him further into society, and to actually help him learn and increase his, um, how shall we say, his uh, field of operations. Um, I'm not talking about sending him to some horrible hot spot on the globe or a terrorist training camp to see what he could do with that, <laughs> although I would certainly pay to see that. <laughs> but uh, more likely just to bring him into the world and bring the knowledge of the chicken to us. And perhaps once and for all, learn why the chicken crosses the road. Chicken Man, legend or reality? You decide. Please stay tuned for updated reports on the man, the chicken, the chicken man. Mike Smithers signing off from somewhere in America.
Chicken Man, legend or reality? My name, <laughs> I didn't think about it. Um, what's my name? In a rural part of middle America, for years there has been that, God, I'm just talking all crazy like. Uh, <laughs> let me just do a, how much is that coming across? It is. It's it's not good. I hate those people. I absolutely hate that. Okay, people make noise. Yeah, he makes noise all the time. He's like he... this guy. Yes. You think that's him? Well, he's the contractor, isn't it? Other people have saws. <laughs> Go. Chicken man. Legend or reality? Or well, something like that. I mean, these are the things that keep me up at night. <laughs> You're thinking. <laughs> anyway, that, that's all I got to say. You'll want to talk to Sally Jenkins about that. Airsoft. <laughs> it's freaking loud around here. <laughs> so that you can use them. Oh yeah, look at that. Molting. <laughs> okay. You're pretty good. Why don't you shake and stand up, Lewis? Standing up. Here the stand. Real nice.